We then move to Dr. Miranda Keys, whining about her mommy taking the Forerunner artifact to mommy's boss. Oh, I don't care. What I will say is this is dumb. So Miranda Keys was introduced in Halo 2. In the lore, she was born Miranda Halsey and spent the first six years of her life living with her mother before she was sent to live with her father, changing her last name to Keys. Miranda was accepted to the Academy's pre-enlistment training at age 16, being the second youngest to ever attend school. After graduating with honors, she immediately requested assignment to active duty. In the following years, Miranda Keys spent most of her time on the front lines, playing a critical advisory role in the coordination of several major offensive strikes against Covenant targets. This proved invaluable to her, and she quickly rose through the ranks of the UNSC. Throughout her career, she was forced to confront accusations of nepotism from those who said her rapid rise in rank was due to the position of her father. Jacob Keyes. On April 5th, 2550, Miranda was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Commander in a promotion ceremony on Reach. Fleet Admiral Terence Hood personally awarded her the Silver Star, and it was announced that she would assume command of the UNSC frigate in amber clad. Immediately following the ceremony, Keyes was deployed back to active duty, having been able to postpone a mandatory leave required for those receiving high-ranking promotions. Now, does that sound like a character who, one, sounds like they got their position because Perrin Gosky wanted to piss off Halsey, and two, should be relegated to nipping at the heels of Oni Brass, whining about about her mummy when the real Miranda Keys left her mother at a young age and did everything she could to emulate her father. She was known for being one of the bravest UNSC officers. Fuck this show. This iteration of Miranda Keys that craves mommy's attention, even though she doesn't want to be anything like her, is a flat out insult to the character. 